Well, lots of us spend a little more than we were hoping every time we walk into the grocery store. Mm -hmm. But with the end of the year here and mounting holiday costs, we're also trying to keep a budget. So 7 Action News reporter Amir David is shopping against a grocery savings expert to find out how you can come out on top every time you shop so you don't waste your money. Well, you can save a lot of money the next time you hit the grocery store. And believe it or not, it all comes down to what you're not doing when you shop. I have a tendency to spend more than what I plan on spending. And you kind of impulse buy sometimes. It's a familiar narrative. The question is, how do you change it? I teamed up with Jolyn Felton of the grocery savings blog Bargains to Bounty to find out how I can guarantee a few extra dollars in my pocket this holiday season. Immediately, she put me to the test to get ingredients for a chicken pasta. We each went to work filling our baskets. I grabbed what I thought looked like a pretty good deal. A rough total of my items? Around $12. It didn't seem bad until grocery guru Joe Lynn stepped in. I actually planned my meal around what I knew was already on sale according to the ad, um, which just brings my cost down for around $5 for the whole meal. Sure enough, the tomatoes, sauce, pasta, and chicken were all on sale in the weekly circular, though I didn't think to look. All right, good job, you win. So topping her tip guide, plan the meal around what's on sale even if you don't necessarily need it that week. For me, it's okay if you buy more than you can eat that week, freeze it and save it for a meal in the future. But if you like to keep it digital, your second cost savings hack is using an app. You can compare prices using Flip. The app compounds the circulars of several grocery stores in your area so you can browse deals online all in one place. You can even search the best sales on a specific item, say chicken. And if you scroll to the bottom, you'll find some digital coupons. Plus, for extra savings, always try to pair a coupon with a sale item to get the biggest bang for your buck. And the last must do on your next grocery trip, write a list before you shop. Felton says it keeps you focused, allowing you to always stay in line and on budget. Every minute that you spend in the store looking around is costing you money on an average of two to three dollars a minute. Um, so the better you can plan your trip and get in and get out of the store, the more money you can save. And if you're looking for some more cost saving tips, we're going to post a full guide for you on our website, WXYZ.com. For now in Shelby Township, Amira David, 7 Action News.